Hey everybody, um, today I just wanted to do a really quick video and share something really sweet that I learned last night. Um, if you've watched any of my previous ARC videos, you'll know that I run at a really low crappy frame rate. And, you know, like 30 if I'm lucky on like halfway decent graphics settings, 40 if I'm, you know, doing okay on like a more standard graphics settings. Now granted, yes, the stupid sphere up in the sky is a little irritating to look at. But that's not actually what's giving me the huge frame per second. What is, is the shadows being altered. Um, something to do with, I think, direct 3D. And mostly, I believe, it's using all cores. So, before I was just running on one core, and I was running on low to medium graphics. I know you can't see it, but now I'm typically on high graphics. Like, if you see if I drop it down to medium, bam, everything goes down. Drop it up to high, more or less where I had it. Now, if I apply this, I'm going to get a free second drop down to like 30 or something. I had to kind of tweak there. Um, and I'll just show you what I did. I like to disable motion blur, ground clutter, who needs that? Clean up the room, boy. Um, <laughs> okay, turn these down just a little bit. It's not going to affect too much. Um, okay, we've already got ourselves about 15 frames per second right there. And you don't have to toy with much. Right? I mean, I added a few other things turned down, like post-processing, anti-aliasing. But I'm just gonna leave it like this, actually, because 45 frames, and, you know, it doesn't feel too bad. Um, it feels good playing, and the textures look amazing. Uh, granted, I am running an AMD chipset, so you're gonna do a lot better chopping. You see some screen chopping here and there, but I'm gonna remedy that actually in September and buy either the i7 4770K or 4790K. I might go with that new um, Z99 chipset. But yeah, I hope, um, hope this helped you guys. I'm actually going to show you what I did. So, use all available cores. Now, if you're on Steam like I am, go to your Steam library. Mine just happens to be on the D drive. Um, that's how I roll. Do drives. Keeps life simple. <laughs> yeah, I know. See what I did there? Okay. Let's go to Arc. Uh, shooter game. No, where did I find it? You're making a liar out of me. I swear, I did this last night. Okay, this is not how I did it. Um, sorry. Okay, take this, copy it, paste it. Sorry, I had a brain fart. Go to Arc, right-click it, Properties. Set Launch Options. Copy and Paste. Hit OK. Close. Okay. Now on your desktop, same beans, okay? Uh, there's a comment, I think. No, wait, shortcut key, run. No, they have to go on as commands after the fact. I forget exactly how to do it. I think you have to put them in quotation marks as well to do it here. Um, back in the day, I did do a lot of this type of stuff. Not so much now. But... I hope this helps you guys, because right now I'm running an AMD 4300FX processor, um, a GTX 750Ti graphics card, um, everything is overclocked, I got 16 gigs of RAM, I got like 4 terabytes of hard drive space, aftermarket case cooler, like, fans galore, I got like 7 fans in my damn PC case, I mean, I got more speakers than my ride can handle. You know, that's what Ludacris says. No. Okay, so you can see, like, everything's pretty good. Um, I apologize for that. But as you can see, even currently, like, all my threads are being used, right? Like, my CPUs are unparked. None of them are just chilling in the background waiting for Windows. Um, and that is the case typically when you're playing Arc. And it really kills your frames per second. And, uh... Disabling those shadow effects and whatever the heck that other command. I, I did a quick Google search on it and I didn't yield anything. But I mean, everybody says, oh, it's going to kill your CPU. Oh my god, your computer. Well, guess what? Let's take a look here. My white box CPU came with the AMD 4300FX. Let's look that up on Amazon.ca. Oh, Newegg, there you go. I bet you it's 60 bucks. Well, I'm on a mission to make a point now. Oh no! 
A hundred and twenty dollars? Oh no! Yeah, I'm replacing to... I think it's 4790k. Nope. 4790k is the other one, I think. Bam! If you live in Canada... That's not the one. One of the 4 gigahertz one. There we go. If you live in Canada... Damn. Yeah. I know. Computer parts are expensive. Um, especially in Canada. That's on sale. Jesus. Okay. But the whole point of this was... See, I'm running at 54 degrees, 55 degrees. I'm not in the critical range until I'm over 60 degrees. Because I'm AMD, I'm not Intel, okay? Not by choice, it was just cheap, it's what I got. Um, now I'm not happy with it, I'm upgrading to top tier shit. Like, i7 processor, um, like I might even go with the Z99 chipset, because now you can run true SLI, you have all the necessary lanes available without any stupid trickery or bullshit. Um, yeah, pretty cool stuff, guys. Hardware info is good, it'll tell you, like, you know, my current GPU workload, I'm using 92% of what I got. You know, poor thing's not happy with me. What? How am I using GPU memory usage? How am I using more? Weird. Weird. Yeah, but as far as I'm sorry, um, as far as I'm parking the CPUs go, I don't believe it's gonna do anything bad. In my computer. Look at that! I'm running at like 64, 75 frames per second. Holy shit balls! Mind you, there's kind of nothing to draw, so let's try running in a different direction. 69, 68 frames per second. Let's just see for shits and giggles, what's the highest the frame rates can even go? You know, let's sacrifice graphics to the max, and let's just see what we can get frame rate rise, just for, just for fun. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Drop that resolution down. Up, ugly. <laughs> okay, I noticed my frames per second. Okay, it did spike to 93 there. Now, if I look straight up at the sky, that's usually how you get your max frame per second in a game. 97! Boom. Now it's on lowest settings. Now, for the same contradiction, the same, um, same comparison. I'm running a 2 gigabyte 750 Ti, and it does have the auxiliary power connector, and my CPU, if you didn't see, is overclocked quite a bit. Um, so I'm, I'm not running just a typical plug-and-play setup, but I'm not running anything too special hardware-wise either. So, okay, I'm running at about 20 frames, 25 frames per second. Now, let's take a look at what could make this more livable if we're playing an Ultra. Like, what could we do to actually get Ultra to feel nice while you're playing it. Okay, first thing is get rid of that stupid blur effect. Okay. Let's see what our usages are here. Okay, somehow I'm actually using my GPU over 143% of the memory. Now maybe it's not keeping all that in memory. Maybe it is. I have a feeling these settings are a little bit high for what I have. Let's turn it back down to high. 
and it lands me at a cool 50 frames a second roughly so with the generic high graphic settings um, again it doesn't look nearly as pretty as it used to So I found a cave. Fucking rockin'. Look at that shit. Those graphics are stunning. Oh my god. kind of fun. Happy I made that video. I hope it helped you guys. Uh, yeah, and I mean, I hope this helps you guys achieve a more acceptable frame rate because um, when I first got this game with the very first hardware setup I had, I was running 13-15 frames per second. And that being said, they have done tons of optimizations. It's been great. They've been really working hard at it. They've been rolling new ones out pretty much every week for the past month as far as I can tell. Um, but this really is a game changer. Like, I went from sub 30 frames per second. Like, on this exact same graphic setting, I would have been getting 15 frames per second. Like, unplayable. Look at that. 42 frames. Granted, I mean, you're sacrificing graphics. You can't have it all. You either need a million dollar hardware, run everything 60, 120 frames per second on ultra, fucking everything, 4K resolution. Or maybe you have a slightly more meager hardware setup like I do, where you don't have a 4K monitor, you have a 720p monitor. Maybe you're just displaying a 1400 by 900 and maybe you could do without some of the fancy shadowing and all that stuff that makes the game really look so beautiful. Um, but, you know, until I drop about another two grand into my PC um, in two months coming here, I'm not going to have a machine that'll do it at 60 frames per second on Ultra. Um, but very soon I will, but <laughs> not for a while. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you um, rate it. I hope you like. I hope you click on something at least. Comment, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, Scotty P. Um, but I do want to hear back from you guys. I want to know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see different, what you want to see me do again, what you never want to see. Let me know. Um, I'm clueless without you guys telling me, so... Um, let's start some conversation, start some discussion, uh, you know, figure out what I should be doing, um, because you guys have kind of left me aimless up to this point in time, and, uh, give me some direction, please. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed for the day, um, yeah, this is just a quick video I made before, uh, my first coffee today, so hopefully it's not too rough, um, but anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed it, and, uh, I hope somebody learned something from it. And again, here's those commands. Use all available cores, 
sm4-d3d10. And I'm going to paste those into the link of the video as well, or the comment description, whatever. Um, so it's going to be up there for you, but that's what I use. That's the main difference. And, you know, I, I could load it. I don't think I'm going to bother, but tr trust me, take my word on it. If you're even on this video right now, you obviously have frame rate problems with ARC, so I don't think you need much convincing that I'm telling you the truth. And honestly, I'm more about being credible and honest than, you know, being sensationalist and getting a few views for a fake video. Anything you see on my on my channel, like even if I have like um, a thumbnail of Zoidberg on a Left 4 Dead video, now that may not be a screenshot of me in the game, but it's a thumbnail of Zoidberg to catch attention. And now when you click on the video, what's that video about? The Zoidberg texture mod for Left 4 Dead 2. You know, there's no like real trickery. Like if you see a picture of Zoidberg on my video and you click on it, you are going to see Zoidberg in that video. And it's going to be like right away pretty much, at least in the first minute. You know, no trickery here. So hopefully that keeps you guys coming back. Um, Anyways, Red Eye Gaming signing off. Um, have a good one. Take care and be safe, guys. Take it easy.